Hello again, always awesome to see you guys, and thank you very much for checking out this video. <clears throat> I figured an in-car intro might be the best course of action for today's subject, because today we're embarking on a trip further than we've driven before throughout the state of Florida, and today we're actually heading all the way to Miami from our area in Tampa. It's going to be about a four or five hour drive. So this will be a multi-part video series. First part today is going to take us down and further south through the Everglades. We're going to make a couple pit stops along the way in Punta Gorda, in Ochopi, and then Miami itself. And we're going to check out all sorts of neat, interesting sites along the way, including a few tourist traps and anything else that we can dig up. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get on the road for part one and keep an eye out on the channel for the other two parts coming up. Let's go ahead and hop on the road and head to Punta Gorda first. Let's go. On the open road. Let's go. Welcome to the town of Punta Gorda. A little way south of uh, south of St. Petersburg, and here's our first destination right here. This beautiful Christmas tree, actually not quite. It's this little green block, and we'll show you what that is in just a moment. All right, so this unassuming green block is a rather infamous spot out here at Punta Gorda. Looks just like a normal water spigot. It's perfectly fine, and people would come to this water and fill it up with jugs and canteens because apparently it contains a high amount of magnesium sulfate, also known as Epsom salts, which can cure what ails you. But look at this sign right here. Use water at your own risk. The water from the well exceeds the maximum contaminant levels of radioactivity as determined by the EPA. Back in the 70s, they tested this fountain after it was said to smell kind of funny and it turns out it has twice the amount of recommended radium. Not fatal radioactivity, but probably not recommended to drink. That's not stopping people from still drinking it though. So stop by Punta Gorda, fill up your water bottle with this water and roll the dice. So you can get a nice dose of both magnesium sulfate and radium in one fell swoop. Yummy, yummy. Next stop here is some um, rustic rural Florida, the Tamiami Trail. Forgive me if I mispronounce you guys, but no, I am not a native Floridian, but uh, I assume Tamiami, Tamiami. But uh, yeah, we're out here in Everglades City. We're probably not gonna do too much exploration in the Everglades themselves proper, simply because we are working on a budget today and there is a $30 entry fee into the Everglades National Park. But we are gonna make a few stops along the way in route to Miami and uh, we'll see what we can find there as long, well as we can for uh, nature and any sort of Everglades adjacent that we can find. Only in Florida, subway, gas station, wild alligator. Hi buddy. Just let him hang out there and do his thing. The little guy looks like. After this, you can go stop by and grab some subway. Our next stop, we are at the Ochopee Post Office. You can see on this historical marker out here in Collier County, the smallest post office in the United States. Uh, originally a shed belonging to a tomato farm. Let's check it out and see just how small this post office is. And there she is in all her glory. Look at that. We'll get a closer look here. There she is at this tiny little shed buying something. We'll take a look at it in a minute and see exactly what she's getting. Who size this little guy? Um, so cute. Oh no, I'm good. We're probably just gonna keep this put up on our fridge or something like that. You want me to stamp it for today's date? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this bad boy. I'm not gonna. Alright, what'd you get? Let's see. So, 
you get a postcard, either international mm -hmm. or um, that's so cool. Or domestic. We'll this see. was a dollar, yeah, and I told her we're keeping it, so she stamped it with the world's smallest post office. There we go. That is wild. It's so teeny tiny. It's one size. <laughs> Panther crossing. In this case, not a real panther, but a really big fiberglass one. Here at the official Skunk Ape headquarters. Let's see if we could find any skunk apes today. We're we'll probably smell them before we see them. I found one, but I don't think he's quite as animated as I expected. Hey, big guy, how you doing? And he goes, big guy. <laughs> the official Skunk Game headquarters in Chopee, Florida. Let's head on inside and see what we can find. Sasquatch merch, excuse me, Skunk Ape merch. Mm -hmm. We are in Florida after all. Mm -hmm. But look, it's not gonna pick nits with this though office bigfoot let's just call him bigfoot he's close enough or uh we can go off of loren coleman's terminology and call them apes north american apes oh well we saw those in uh st augustine remember look at this one field guide the skunk ape source of information skunk ape bedding area oh yeah i see you gotta watch out for gators when you're looking for skunk ape. I actually have this when I got this out, a cryptid crate. Bigfoot pocket journal. It's just a blank journal, but you can chronicle any of your Bigfoot sightings in there. I wonder what a Bigfoot collar sounds like. But I'm not obviously not gonna blow on here in the store. Ooh, these guys are cool. Skunk ape smells better than I thought it did. Please adopt him. That's cute. Bigfoot Bendy. He's cool. Yeah, these are the ones that we saw in St. Augustine before. The meditating Bigfoots. Aren't those silly? A poo sample. Great tail. <laughs> and these guys are cute too. So this one looks like was designed. Oh, excuse me. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't designed. It was this uh, art print over here by Emily Yonker, a uh, Florida skunky artist. Very cool. And I brought my little Bigfoot from Cryptozoic's Cryptkins line. He's here to visit all his friends. How you doing, guys? Okay, he looks perfect right there amongst the office Bigfoot and the big boy there. Yay. Perfect. And you see beyond the glass here, this is their reptile exhibit back here. You see big old ape statue, a swamp boat, probably got some snakes and gators in there. This is a separate admission though, so we're probably not going to head back there today, but just take a quick little glimpse through the glass here. here. Paid entrance to the reptile exhibit, $10 for adults. See them? And the second largest snake in captivity. <gasps> this is cute. Look at this right here. If you want your artwork displayed here with the skunk ape, send it to this address. It gets really cute, uh, cute uh, letters being sent out to the skunk ape center and cute drawings. Perfect for children. Very nice. Very small place, but fascinating and wonderfully old Florida. See this whole Bigfoot wall. coloring book. I can see this wall of memories. Yeah.
there and talk. <laughs> Do you know how much these pay? Oh, that's you though. That's me. You're the dog. A, I'm a dog. Just around with the fishery. I call it different Easter eggs. There's a little like crawfish. I kind of like this guy. He's cool. You're at an unscheduled stop. Just a quick bathroom break, but I wanted to come see this interesting statue of this gentleman uh, either fighting or tickling the chin of an alligator. I'm not sure. We are here at the Mikoski Native American Tribe gift shop. Airport rentals and rides across the street. And uh, I guess as long as we're here checking it out and uh, using their facilities, we'll take a look inside, see if we can find anything interesting. If you don't see anything else in this video and this is all we see of them, that means I didn't find anything too interesting inside. But we will go look. Look at these guys. You got some iguanas out here. Hi, guys. Well, if you can kind of see some, they're all scattered and all over the place. Yeah, we don't have iguanas in our area of Florida where we uh, travel from, so they're crawling all over this fiberglass gator. Yeah, they're cool. They're all just scattered all over the place. Very interesting place. It's another uh, gift shop on the side of the road that does have a paid attraction through those doors back there. In this case, it looks like perhaps a replica or a cultural Native American village recreation and a gator show, which might be a gator presentation or maybe a gator wrestling. I'm still not sure. But it is interesting looking. Yeah. They're too skittish. Yeah, they're going to scatter as soon as I get closer. Yep, there they go. I'm not even that close to them. Oh, oh we missed a vulture flying overhead. That's right. robot welcome to sunny tropical miami well maybe not so that's pretty cool though right even though the rain is unfortunately scuttling a lot of our plans we'll see what we can else we can salvage through the day what is she doing oh the road's blocked off might as well spin might as well jump no? That's right. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> Anyways, here's the next place. Julia and Henry's Eatery. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, I think. Five stories of uh, different restaurants, I think. Let's go check it out. Peruvian dish. Awesome. For awesome. Don't know. Nice. Amanda got some good stuff too. I did, and I learned. Nice. Th I learned things about Venezuelan food today. Yay! <laughs> Progress. We learned. Progress. Okay. Well, great to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. No, thank you, for hey, guys. Me. Make sure to check out their channel as well. It's awesome, and I'll think back to you guys as well. Yay. Bye, guys. Stay tuned. What you got? What you got? Let's see it. A dessert for our fans. What you it's a glossy oh, nice oh, wow. decoration. Next stop, we're checking out the Lincoln Road Shopping District. 
which should be pretty interesting. Now, unfortunately, we had planned for there to be a lot of Christmas festivities, including a parade, tree lighting, all sorts of cool stuff. Canceled due to the weather. Can't be helped by anybody. And as you can see, it's kind of dried up since then, but they already called it off. So I highly, highly doubt they're gonna spring it back on us. But that's all right. We'll still uh, look around and see what else we could find out here in this unique area of Miami Beach. Well, here's the tree that was supposed to be lit by now. As I mentioned, the rain let up, but because it was so bad until just a half hour ago, they just canceled all the festivities. So we've got a nice, unfortunately unlit, dark Christmas tree. Sorry, Like the uh, What'd you find? Baklava. Baklava. Which one's your favorite? Uh, yes. <laughs> um, this one sounds amazing. Pure rose, pomegranate, and honey and pistachio. That looks crazy. Look at the little swirls right there. Those look good. Wow. Oh, look at the little tiny, like, bite size. The unbearable lightness of life. Whoa. How about the hazelnut raspberry special? Wow. This one's like... Oh, bless you. Wow. Osmolander, baklava, and lokum. You going in? Sure. All right, in she goes. No, we found them in person. The hideous Shrek Crocs. Look at that. <laughs> Every day we drift further from God. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know what to think. I can't even finish my sentence. I love them. My God. He said rubble, rubble. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Rubble, rubble. There goes my sanity. That's what he stole. Jeez, I'm crow. Look upon my work in despair. No, it's not Ozymandias. This is a sculpture known as Our Revolution, also known as a Revolution, right out here in the middle of Lincoln Road Shopping Center. If you want to know more about the sculpture, you can check out this the website for Marco Cochran, and the artist behind this magnificent piece. Look at it. Say. You lose the fact of a nude sculpture in the middle of a family shopping center. But it is a genuine piece of art. It's got to be about 40 feet tall. It is very, very big. Amazing. This feels like Miami right here when you think of Miami here. Yes. Very much. Very Music, much. Music, water, neon lights, clubs, South Beach. Yeah. Nice Christmas display in the distance there too. It's Christmas in Miami. Let's go. What's happening down here. Where are we heading to? The Barber Bear Captain Historic Preservationist. I'm not sure what that is. You guys can pause to read that if you want, but I gotta keep moving here. Stay keep up with her. Miami South Beach. I apologize in the background. There's a show happening down the street. It's a little noisy in the background, but we wanted to stop by here, especially for Amanda, because she's a fan of this gentleman. It's uh, July 15th, 1997. Giovanni Versace, the fashion guru, the fashion maven. Fortunately and sadly gunned down on the steps of this building, his own mansion by Andrew Cunanan. Immortalized, of course, in many films, including the American Crime Story miniseries. But this is the building right here where Versace lived. I think that was his master bedroom right there at the giant balcony. Which one? The one on the top? Yeah, like this big balcony oh, yeah, yeah. right here. Like Called with the Stain three windows? Uh -huh. Oh, very nice. And right here. Looks like it's been converted into the villa. Like club or a restaurant. But there's the steps right there where he was shot. It's on the right side. Is yeah. Where kind of... Yeah, yeah, it's a happening club tonight, especially on a Friday night in Miami. But this is the spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's he lived, historic he lived here. That's... Yes. And he just he, he was just walking to get his magazines one morning, and yep, Kunan and shot him in cold blood. Across the street, how? Two shots actually, but Two then one of the there. bullets ricocheted and killed a bird. So they thought oh, it was a mob no, hit. Oh no, I didn't know that. That's yeah. horrible. Yeah, so they thought it was a mob hit. It was just unfortunate that it was a bird yeah. got caught in the crossfire. That's too bad too. But he had these big ornate 
gates and he was, I think they, the gates are still there. Okay. I don't know if those are the original ones or not, but he was walking up and was about to put his key in and that's when he was shot at. Yeah, so right over here where all the minions are. It's around the site. Beautiful building. Beautiful. Okay. Hey, all checking in a bit from the future. This is before my outro, actually, because reviewing the footage as I was editing this video together, I realized that the Versace video and my whole first night in Miami ended rather abruptly, and I wanted to apologize for that. Um, the Versace Mansion is actually now a working restaurant. And of course, it was a very busy night as we went, and we had just a moment to stop and uh, kind of observe the building. And Amanda got a quick picture on the steps themselves, and then we were told we had to move along by the um, by the valet and their concierge, uh, their hostess. So that's why that video ended really abruptly, and I didn't have anything else to film that evening. So that's that, and I do apologize for the quick ending there. Now then, on to the official outro. And thus concludes part one of our three-part road trip tour. So I do hope you guys enjoyed seeing some interesting sites along the way. Lots of really cool little roadside stops and some a couple sites in the city of Miami itself. Now this was only a two-day trip, so as I mentioned, it's only going to be a three-day, uh, excuse me, a three-series video, and the next video is going to take entirely uh, a museum that we visited in Miami, a very fascinating one called Wynwood Walls, which is a street art preservation museum. So we're going to check that out next. But for now, I do hope that you enjoyed checking out a road trip to Miami. And uh, another thing I should mention too is that we're going to intersperse a little bit of some holiday cheer in between our road trip vlogs as well. So next up might not be necessarily necessarily be the Wynwood Walls, I might be doing something coming from Universal Studios uh, Christmas celebration, which we'll be attending very soon as well. Keep an eye on the channel though, lots of fun stuff coming up, all involving fun travels, fun times, that I hope to bring you along with me. So let's hop on the road and see where we go. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much guys. Bye.